to test hypothesis standard deviation equals 2.5 versus less than 2.5 sample size 21 if the sample standard deviation is 1.9 compute the test statistic so now we are doing a hypothesis test with respect to standard deviation so in this case the test statistic is done through variance stats so remember uh, if the test is about proportions, then we use proportion stats. If it's about means, then we use T stats. And if it's about standard deviation, then we use variance stats to do the test statistic. Okay, so stat crunch. So you will do stats variance stats one sample with summary and sample variance so we are given sample standard deviation s is for standard deviation but the box is asking for variance so you square it to get the variance so the square of 1.9 is 3.61 the sample size is 21 and you have, so again, this is asking for sigma square. You have sigma equals 2.5, so you square it. So square of 2.5 is 6.25. And you have less than. So 11.552. Okay, test at the point o, point 0.1 level, determine the critical value. So critical value is done through calculator. If you are in the um, proportion test, you use the normal calculator. If you are in the T test, or you're testing the means, you use T calculator. And if you are uh, in the standard deviation test, then you use the chi-square calculator. So chi squared calculator. So stats calculator, chi square, and then sample size is 21. So degree of freedom would be one less. So that's 20. And then uh, you want um, left tail. So it's already on the left. And then alpha is the area in the tail, so 0.1. So 12.443. And then you pick the graph. So tail, you want a left tail because this is less than so this is the one which has a left tail. Okay, so now for the, um, the rejection, you use that criteria that does the test statistic lie in the rejection region or not. So this shaded region is the rejection region. It's cut off by the critical value. So the value over here is the critical value. So let's make a note. Critical value is 12.443. So the value over here along the x-axis is 12.443. That's the value that cuts off this tail. And our uh, test statistic was 11.5. This was 12.443 and 11.552 is on the left of it somewhere. So it is in the critical region or the rejection region. So it's, it, it's less than this critical value. So if it's in the critical region, then you will reject the null, yes, because the uh, mm, test statistic, which was chi naught squared, that was less than the critical value. Okay, so now again, you have a hypothesis test 
and test statistic is done through the variance stats because we are testing standard deviations. So you would do stats, variance stats, one sample summary. So this asks for sample variance, but you are given the standard deviation 2.6. So you will square it. So the square of 2.6 is um, 6.76. Mm. 2.5 and the sample size is 16 <laughs> and um, the hypothesis test is asking for sigma square. You have sigma 2.3, so you square it. Square of 2.3 is 5.29. And you have greater than. So 19.168. And um, critical value is done through chi-square calculator. So um, you would, uh, okay, let's do stat crunch again. So stats calculator chi-square. And we have Degrees of freedom will be one less than the sample size of so 15. And uh, you are on the right tail this time, so change this to greater than. And alpha is 0.01, so that's the tail area. 0.01 and compute. So 30.578. So this was the right tail. So this is the right tail. And this time they've already written the values for us. They have written the test statistic that was 19 point something. So they've written that over here. And then they've written the critical value. That's the value that cuts off this rejection region. So once again, yeah, okay, this time the critical value, the test statistic 19.17 is not in the rejection region. So you will not reject the null because 19.17 is less than 30.58. So not reject the null because the test stat was less than the critical value. Mm -hmm. 